Hi there guys and welcome to another video tutorial um, for the Pro Business theme and this one is going to show you how to create your team post. Now on the Pro Business theme I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of how this works. So I'm just going to the home business version 3. Um, so once this page loads if we navigate down here uh, another beautiful page but if we navigate down here you've got uh, a, a widget that we've put in here that shows you the team members so it's got a nice hover effect on there we can scroll through the team members and if we actually click through to any of these team members it will take them directly to uh, the details for that individual team member so here we are John Orange just a, a, a fictitious person there so a little about me we've got the qualifications experience contact info and then also there we've got social icons which can be linked up to this guy's accounts or to your team members accounts so just uh, another page here just to show you another way that we can display these details so meet the team page we either meet the team page so another version that we've got for you guys here so just a different way to display each and each team member or your employees details uh, and the same again we've got the social icons here and you can click through to each team member and uh, view the individual details for each team member. So I'm going to show you how to set one of these up. So the first thing that we need to do is if we navigate back over into the back end of WordPress, so I'm just going to go back to the dashboard just to start from refresh. And then we've got the different post types down here. So team is the one that we want to edit. So if we go to the team member here, so we've got the team, the list of uh, team members in here, and these are the, the ones that we've already added to this demo. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up a new team member, so add new. And then we, we've got, so the, the, the person that I'm going to add here is, again, a fictitious person. So I'm going to use this image um, for this lady here. So let's give her a name. We'll call her Emily Johnson. That's just a fictitious name there and then we need to put um, the details in for this uh, for this lady here now I've got some text that I'm already going to use but you type your text in here and uh, edit it with the editor but I'm just going to go to the this text box here and then change that back to visual so we've got the demo text that I want to put in there uh, which team category so which department does this lady work for we're going to say that she is um, a manager so we'll put her down as a manager and then down here we've got the team position the, the different details for the uh, team member so here this is where these go in here so the different um, accordion menu uh, drop downs that we've got here so team position i'm just going to put here uh, account manager i'm just going to paste in some details that i've already got here so we've got in there um, let me just extend this here so you can see what I'm doing. World's best account manager and master of arts. Then the next one is is experience. So I'm just going to put that in there. So it's uh, again just default text that I'm putting in here. Then the contact details for this individual member, the email address that we can contact this member on, and then we've got all the different social widgets that you can link up to the, each individual member's page. Or account so for this one I'm just going to put a hash um, icon there just so it picks up the um, the icons that I want to display there so we'll, we'll use um, Flickr and LinkedIn as well so they're the icons that I want to pick up on there and that's that's pretty much it so then we need to set the uh, featured image so if we click set featured image and then we just drag uh, this new image on here that I've created so there we go we've got that new team member so if i just set that so there we go we've got the new uh, image for the new team member so if we just publish that that is pretty much it you know for, for setting up the details for your team members and then if we go back over here and then we go to um, let's go to the home business version three again the different ways in which we display these post types will, will, will become apparent as you as you keep going through the documentation and i'm just going to scroll down here back to the team um, scroller here and if we keep going through these there you go we've got the new team member Emily Johnson if we click on her we'll be able to see the deep the page uh, where she's on there so we've got the social icons that we chose for her her name her, which category she's in there as an employee qualifications experience and contact info so again just a quick tutorial on how to use the team post type so if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact us support at cmssuperheroes.com we'll be more than happy to help thank you